Hey, my name is Ntutugo D and I'm the guy who wants you to avoid the unemployment line at the end of the global pandemic by starting your own YouTube channel and making money. Well, in today's video, I am accompanied by Rexy right here. He sometimes wants to be on the video, sometimes he doesn't. So on this video, he decided to sit on my old coffee table, as you can see in the background. And you can say hi to Rexy if you want to, but anyways, that's not the point. In my last video, I had indicated that I intended to do Vlogmas on my YouTube channel. Then I realized that, come on, my YouTube channel, number one, it is tiny. And number two, nobody knows me. And, and number three, my life is so boring, it will be like watching paint dry. Though I had enthusiastically started filming on December 1st, as I had committed myself that I was going to do 25 days of Vlogmas, but I really stopped myself on my tracks when I realized that this is not going to go as I am planning. So I decided, okay, you know what? I'm just going to abort the whole idea and continue doing what I always do on YouTube. That, that is speaking all things YouTube by giving you tips, tricks, and hacks, and also delve into business and saving money, and also delving into making money on YouTube and other ways of making money. So in today's video, I am just going to be sharing the rest of the aborted vlogmas. I must confess, I was very surprised to see views in my first aborted Vlogmas video. So I thought, okay, because I still have more footage, maybe I should do a part two. And here it is. So basically, the rest of the footage has, I've written some notes here. It basically has, um, it has morning routine, which is still the same. It hasn't changed. And this time I've added exercising because I'm trying to lose my belly. My belly just got out of hand during the lockdown. And I will also explain And I also explain in the video why I am doing these exercises How my body used to look like before I got my belly And maybe you will understand I'm actually thinking of taking you guys th through my journey of losing the weight Particularly my belly And if you like to join in the exercises Hey, let me know, comment down below so we can do them together and if your new year's resolution is to lose weight or lose the belly or whatever part of your body that you may not be happy with then comment down below if i should do these exercise videos and let's lose together i'm also going to put myself through a diet in this video i also show you how i clean my apartment i live in a two-bedroom apartment all by myself because i'm a recluse um, so I will take you through that. Maybe I'll time lapse it or just show you how I do my cleaning, washing my dishes and mopping the floor and all that sort of stuff. And in the video, I also have like a story time or two. Uh, yes, I was a victim of the global pandemic. I was infected together with my brother. And um, I think I do mention how we got infected. But if I did not mention, well, basically in April, um, a family member passed away from the pandemic and she was a Shibin queen and so I think when when we went under lockdown on the 26th of March she was already infected she fell ill in a very short space of time and then she was gone I think my brother and I may have picked it up because we were busy driving to and from the house where we were meeting all sorts of people that we, that had come to mourn with us and uh, maybe some of them may, may have been carriers and we picked it up and we got infected. Actually, my brother's case was severe. He actually almost died. My case was severe but mild at the same time, if that makes any sense. But one thing I do remember is that I couldn't breathe. Every part of my body just felt like death. And um, I must tell you, I did not see my life flash before my eyes. This is my second time where I had a near-death experience. The first one, I was hit by a car in 2017, December 2017. Basically, I flew in the air. I remember the one thing I kept thinking about in those split seconds was don't get my head hit on the ground. But instead, I landed on my butt. As a result, I chipped my tailbone. fractured parts of my tailbone so 
I do speak about that in the video and why I'm doing the exercises the way I am doing it. But now I want to get back to the gym and get back to my old self body that I used to have, six pack and all. So I want to get back to fitness. And if you want to join me in the journey, again, guys, comment down below. Let me know if you would like to see videos of this nature where I'm going to be taking the journey of weight loss. I am going to show you the whole thing, the scale, the numbers, you name it. Even though I've already started about a month ago doing these exercises, I think I'm going to take them seriously, seriously as of January the 2nd because you know the festive, the festive season is all about eating and eating and eating and me being a carnivore that I am and also a Coca-Cola drinker. Uh, I don't think it's going to actually help. I think I'm defeating the purpose right now because I'm continuously drinking coke. I'm not quite sure how I am going to quit it. There is no way that Coca-Cola is going to stand in my way. Even though I walk through the valley of shatter of coke, I shall not want. So basically that is what this video is going to be. But oh, oh yeah, another thing, um, also my sister recommended that I buy Savannah non-alcoholic and I kind of had like an experience with it. So you will see what ended up happening while I was attempting to drink it and my thoughts about it. If you are interested in watching, hey, I appreciate that. And then continue doing what I do on my channel, which is all things YouTube, all things making money on YouTube, all things making money in general, as well as all things saving money and, and frugal living and business and all that stuff that I'm going to be speaking about on my YouTube channel. So if you think this is the type of content that you like, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. And please also share my videos far and wide so that more people can discover if they are unemployed, they get ideas on how they can employ themselves and become their own boss. So once again, guys, thank you so much to those that have viewed my part one of my aborted vlogmas. So sit back, relax, and um, enjoy. I am peeing. If you're a guy and you wake up in the morning, you know that you can't really pee standing. Yeah, that's as far as I can go. And it takes a little bit of time for it to come through. And there we go. So it doesn't necessarily hit the water, it hits the bowl. So that is why you're not going to hear anything. And the pee takes a while. Think I've tortured you enough? So when I'm done applying petroleum jelly on my face and body and everywhere else, and then it's time to groom my beard. 
I don't have the most attractive beards in the world, but it's my beard. I like it. it makes I don't know. It kind of like defines me. So it looks a little bit decent. Not like I'm some or as if I haven't touched water in weeks. You know what I'm talking about? And then I take a shoe brush. This this is especially for my face, nothing else. And then I kind of like lay them down, which they usually don't want to. I, I don't know why. The texture of my hair is very weird. I've got like this really, really soft um, textured hair. It's so soft. <laughs> I, I don't get it. But every member of my family i think my brother and i we have the same textured hair then everyone else have like like african hair like nice and hard and coarse and nappy and all that stuff i was just basically like i don't know it spirals after i have washed it kind of just go like wing 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 kind of thing I've always had gray hair guys since I was like nine or eight years old or something like that and in my culture which is the Zulu culture we believe that if you have gray hair as a youngster you are going to be wealthy when you are older or when you are in your adults and I'm still waiting for that wealth guys I'm not saying that it's not true all I'm saying is um, sometimes I get it they're just trying to encourage you not to feel out not to feel not to lose your self-esteem so you don't lose confidence and by thinking other kids will laugh at you as a matter of fact it did the opposite effect other kids were jealous of my gray hair because they already knew that as an adult I was going to be wealthy so many kids wanted to have gray hair as well so that kind of like um Help me out on the bully side of things. I think that's the wisest thing that the Zulu culture has ever come up with. To avoid a child getting bullied for the color of their hair. I mean, already a lot of kids with dark skin, they have it tough. I don't understand why kids with dark skin um are ostracized or made to feel or made to feel like less than human when in fact black skin i'm talking dark skin that is the most beautiful skin color i have ever seen if you got dark skin from chocolate black and to dark chocolate black i envy you because our people are not only beautiful with your skin color but you are also sexy in that skin color that is just how i see it and uh, that are bleaching the skin <laughs> well um you got problems there are a lot of girls and there are a lot of guys who have made it in life as a matter of fact they are wealthy because of the color of their skin look at alec wack who became a global supermodel and if you have Naomi Campbell's, Campbell's skin color, which is like dark chocolate-like, look at her. She made it. You look at uh, the people like, um, look at guys like Tay Diggs. You look at guys like, um, what was that male supermodel from Jamaica again? Um, what was his name again? The guy in Tony Braxton's Unbreak My Heart. What is his name? Some Something Ferguson? Look at him, dark skinned, super rich, and very successful. So never think that your skin color is a hindrance to your future. As a matter of fact, it could be the opposite effect. Cherish it and make sure that you take care of it. Of course, you sunscreen, you do all that stuff. One of these days, you are going to be the it. Trust me. And one of these days, dark skin, is going to become the in thing it's going to be the new yellow bone 
You will see it in music videos, you're going to see it in movies, you're going to see it in billboards, you're going to see it on runways, you're going to... Just cherish yourself and never allow yourself to be made... To be made like you are not human, you are human and you are beautiful in that skin and make sure that you take care of yourself and um, cancel out all the other sounds that that are aimed at discouraging you, hurting your feelings and all that stuff. Make it your New Year's resolution for 2021 that I am done with people calling me whatever names that they call, that they call you because of your dark skin. And um, yeah, live your life, you know, live your life. So yeah, so I think I look a little bit that was just a little bit of real talk right there. I digressed a little bit, but uh, I just needed to say that because I kind of love dark skinned people. Yeah, now I look a little bit decent, as you can tell. I was wondering when I was going to start sweating. I don't know if you're one of those people like me, after taking a bath or shower, you come out and you just sweat bullets. And uh, see, I'm starting, only now I'm starting to sweat. Um, so I also kind of like, like brushing my eyebrows, you know. So I think now I look a little bit, dis I look a little bit decent. So what I had forgotten to tell you is that immediately after I wake up, I kind of like do some exercises. In 2007, I was hit by a car on my back. I kind of like flew in the air, hit the ground, and then broke my tailbone. And uh, ever since then, I've been having issues with my, um, with my body weight because I can't do many things like jogging, exercising, and stuff like that. I was told I will only be able to do that maybe after three or four years. So it's about three years later because it happened in December. It was the second of this. Oh my goodness. Yesterday would have been my third year. So I kind of like wanted to get back to being fit. As you can tell, I used to have a pretty like, I don't know. I don't want to say. So I used to be a gym bunny when I, before the accident. And so I used to have, my body was nice and fit. Uh, it looked it looked good. I mean, there are some remnants of that because, as you can see, I've got broad shoulders, and uh, now and then, you may sometimes think that I'm a bodybuilder, but I'm not. And uh, unfortunately, because of the accident, I could not go back to the gym. I was warned against it until I was fully recovered, and then only recently, I think about two months ago. I went back and then I was given some tips on how I can start. I was advised to start with um, stretching and uh, walking maybe 100 meters and then basically 50 meters to and 50 meters back uh, to try and reintroduce my body to a, a routine which is going to eventually lead me to the gym. So stretching and um, and all that stuff. I, anyways, it's just stretching. It's not like sweating myself out. It's just to stretch my muscles, my back especially, because I need to get my back steady once again in order for me to be able to go back to the gym and do the things that I used to do there. So I can't just walk into a gym and start doing what I used to do. I would actually injure myself, even kill myself. So take baby steps. Unfortunately, because that uh, because of not going to the gym, I kind of gained weight, especially around my belly. For some reason, it's just my belly and my thighs that kind of like gained weight. But everything else is still where it used to be, uh, especially with my legs and my chest area, except for these little thingamajigs. I don't know where they popped up from. <laughs> I think it's part of uh, gaining weight. But other than that, uh, my chest is almost as it used to be, though I see the rippling stuff that used to be here are gone. I think it's because of I'm gaining weight. And then if you look at my arm, 
it's not that bad though, but uh, you can tell that hey, the boy is gaining some weight there. Um, yeah, so it, all this stuff I need to rework and get back to what I used to be. And um, what I used to look like a bodybuilder, even though I never wanted my body to be a bodybuilder body, if that makes any sense. I always wanted my body to be nice and lean, but for some reason, uh, whenever I do the, I've tried various uh, personal trainers, instead my body just comes back looking like a rugby player. Maybe that is why in high school, I was thrown in the rugby team. Hmm, come to think of it. Anyways, I digress. So yeah, um, so I thought let me just give you, let me give you a little bit about my body and my body size. Don't be like, oh, you got a big belly. I know I got a big belly and I'm going to be working on it throughout 2021. And um, if you want to join me with the exercises, they are not, how do I put this? They are not like um, exercises that, that people who are serious about losing weight would do. They are just light exercises. It's basically stretching. It is kicking. I don't know, small Pilates mixed with some little yoga here and there which I suck at by the way guys uh, because I never used to do that when I went to the gym it was just straight to the irons and start lifting and that was that so um, there will be a little bit squatting going on there and um, yeah you you will see in the next segment and um, I wanted to say something else now I forgot yeah I kind of like my beard as weird as it is, be it weird, um, I kind of like it. I like it. I don't know when I'm going to get gray hair, though. It's, it's pitch black. Oh, yeah. You remember when we used to be kids? And, man, I love stargazing. To this very day, I'm a stargazer. I'm a guy who believes in the universe and galaxies. And law of attraction, by the way, I do believe in that stuff. So when I was a kid, I used to count the stars and then my grandma would say, stop counting the stars, you're going to get moles. And I never believed her. I was like, eh. once again, it's like Zulu wisdom, Zulu cultural wisdom. Don't count the stars. You're gonna, they're going to grow on your body. So as I was growing older, then I started developing moles on my, you see, these are moles. And then I was taken aback. I was like, could it be because I was counting the stars when I was a kid? Ah, it's coincidence. Growing older, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I got these moles on my um, neck towards my chest-ish. So um, yeah, if you ask, maybe it's because I counted the stars when I was a kid. I don't know. So anyways, guys, uh, let's get into me um, making breakfast. And I, after breakfast, I'm going to clean. So while eating my breakfast, I'll be watching the news. After that, I'm going to clean my house. Um, well, I do clean my house. I live alone because I'm a recluse. I've been a recluse for the past 20 years. So I don't have friends. My friend is my sister and sometimes my older brother, but he's always busy, but uh, we do keep in touch. Other than that, 99.9999% uh, of the time, I'm all by myself and uh, I'm kind of used to it. Um, do I feel lonely? No, I don't even know what lonely feels like, but um, whatever happens, happens, I suppose. So I've been living by myself for a very long time, since my 20s, actually. Um, I don't know. It's not like something... Okay, wait. Everything has a root cause, right? 
and I did get really, really hurt when I was growing up by friends. And eventually I just could not garner the strength to make new friends. I, I thought I was going to make friends as I was going along with life, but turns out, no, I did not. Um, I don't drink, I don't smoke. I basically sit at home and um, now I'm doing videos, um, which I'm enjoying by the way, because I don't get to speak to somebody. I don't get to talk. I'm not good at speech. Or I'm not good with talking. I'm more, I'm better at writing than I am with um, speaking. Uh, I do speak and then whenever I speak with people, they, for some reason, they tend to tell me all the time that they enjoy my conversations, my conversational skills, which I don't know where I get them from, but I guess whenever I'm with people, I adapt, but uh, immediately I'm done with them, I go back to my cocoon, and uh, most of the time it is silence. It's the, only the television that is um, that I watch that makes noise, and of course I love comedies, I laugh a lot, and as well I also love musicals and music, and I sing now and again with a terrible voice that I do have, but I still sing. And now I have a new hobby, YouTube, that I just fell in love with, and I can't stop making videos for you guys and i hope that um you are not annoyed by me you will support me and uh yeah let's be friends me this side and you on the other side <laughs> maybe those are the only friends i would have going forward and then whenever i speak about my friends i'm going to be talking about you who is watching my videos and subscribe to my channel <laughs> so uh yeah i don't know so yeah Everything else, I, I just handed it over to the universe uh, to decide what it does with my life. And um, yeah, other than that, I'm surviving. And thank you again, guys, for watching my YouTube videos. And also thanks to those that are subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. I hope I will not disappoint in 2021, you and I. Okay. So... I think I've spoken too much already. Uh, let's see each other in my next segment. Bye.